<clears throat> this is my dear friend, Acton. Acton, would you like to introduce yourself to YouTube? <laughs> Hi, I'm Acton. Um, I'm Lindsay Doe's friend. I am an out trans guy, and uh, yeah. Do you want a divine transgender? No. I mean, that's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, no. Uh, when people usually ask me that, what does transgender mean, is essentially my experience of uh, being born a woman and feeling uh, really misplaced and uh, feeling very, 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 I don't want to say hopeless, but just really at odds with a lot of parts of my life. Personally uncomfortable, physically uncomfortable, and then sort of just deciding that I was going to make a change because I didn't want to feel that way anymore. It was a huge focal point. And then I had this job, and my roommate was like, so you're gonna tell them that you're taking testosterone, right? And I was like, yeah, I guess so. Because my roommate at the time was like, she's like, There's, they're gonna ask you why, you're, why you have a cold all the time. <laughs> and Going you know, through puberty. Why you're going through puberty and why you have facial hair. And to that concept, I just like to say that estrogen and testosterone are amazing things. You start taking testosterone, you start growing hair in uncomfortable places. Totally You're your rocking an awesome beard. Thank you, thank you very much. My mom had a really, really hard time with it. You know, when I got done telling her, she's like, I'm not gonna talk to you for a little while. And I was like, well, do you want me to call you? Like, she's like, no, 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 I don't want you to call me. I'll call you. Like, I just, I just need not to talk to you right now. And she didn't talk to me for a long time. Like, we're not talking about a year, but it was, it was a good chunk of time where I was like, oh God, like my mom's never gonna talk to me again. And then my dad was kind of like, well, what the hell? It occurs to me later on that like both my parents were not so much mad at me about transitioning and wanting to live my life the way that I have chosen. They were so consumed by what they had done wrong. It's not like, about you uh, people! <laughs> I mean, there's that. They're like, they literally were just like, how do we fix this? You know, it took a few conversations talking about like, this isn't something that you fix. Like, you cannot fix this. So, those are good conversations. At least they talk to me now. It's totally fine. I love those guys a lot. That's great. So, my boss is this big, big white dude. He used to be an ex cop. He's sitting at his desk, and I, I march right up there, and I'm thinking, okay, just prepare for the worst. Just prepare to lose this job because that's gonna be okay. And I'm standing there, and I just sort of verbally spew all over his desk about how I'm trans and I wanna live my life as a dude. I would like it if he called me by this name and he used male pronouns. And my boss just sort of looks at me, he looks up at me and he's just like horrified. He is like horrified. I'm like, here it comes. And he says, what? And I'm like, what? And he says, no, really, what? I, I totally did not just hear what you said, what? So I take a deep breath and I have to repeat myself and he's still looking at me horrified, like just like, his mind's like being blown or something like that. And I'm like, oh my God, this dude's gonna pick me up and throw me out the door, I just know it. And he, all he says is, are you happy? And I was like, well, yeah. And he's like, that's all I need to know. And he never once messed up my pronoun, and he's never once messed up my name. I know, I know that story is not a common story. Like, I don't think people experience a lot of that, but I was really thankful. You've done an amazing thing for yourself, and I'm glad that you're sharing it with us. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks for joining me and Acton for Trans Awareness Week. I hope you understand that this process goes beyond this one solitary week and that you continue to stay curious.